Hello and welcome to episode 5 of Food as Fuck. My name is Zeke and today we are cooking two ingredient fudge. Shapow! So you guys are going to love this today. The whole prep time for this dish is actually going to be two minutes. That's all you really need. Um, and then you just have to pop it in the freezer for about an hour or preferably you can put it in the fridge for half a day or so. So this kind of dish is perfect if you've been invited to a party and you need to bring something and you forget about it or you just didn't give a damn and you're crunched for time. You can put this together in two minutes keep it in the fridge while you shower, get ready and whatever. And by the way, nobody's gonna believe that this is fudge that you put together with two ingredients. So yeah, I'm gonna show you how. Today's recipe is actually very simple to make. You only need two ingredients to do this. I know we have a few more ingredients down here. The reason for that is we're gonna be adding a few things to make this much better. Number one, you're gonna need to get some kind of chocolate to melt. I usually like to get chocolate chips because I can choose the semi-sweet kind, which I find in my personal taste makes it much tastier, this fudge. If you want, you can just get whatever you like. You can even buy just regular plain bars of chocolate, but um, that's what I use. So I go for the chocolate chips. I also like to add a little bit of baking chocolate. So I usually get same thing, semi-sweet. I just like the flavor of semi-sweet chocolate. I think it makes the fudge taste much, much, um, nicer at the end. The next mandatory ingredient that you have to get is sweetened condensed milk. So you can find this in any supermarket really. Um, it's not really hard to find and that's pretty much it. So everything else that we're gonna add is extra. But if you want to make the fudge um, as basic as you want it to be, that's all you really need. So just the chocolate and the condensed milk. Now the extra ingredients that we are going to be adding are butter because butter is fabulous and we're also going to be adding a few drops of vanilla extract i have some salted peanuts here i find that the saltiness from the peanuts goes really really nice with the fudge at the end ow and the last ingredients and remember all these four ingredients are not necessary but i am going to be adding some score crispy toffee bits because i love this stuff. so before i start i'm just going to crush my peanuts so I just want to you know just sort of get them into nice little chunky bits um, and this is just so that everything is ready to go into the bowl once we're done you're gonna see how fast this is so I'm just gonna crush up the peanuts and then we're gonna start making our fudge all right so the peanuts are crushed the uh, the bag popped from the bottom I'm just gonna keep it sealed and open it Okay, now we are actually, believe it or not, gonna talk some measurements now. So all you have to remember is we're gonna be using three parts of condensed milk to four parts of chocolate. And that is it. My condensed milk tin is about 300 milliliters and the chocolate is about 329 grams. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take three blocks from the baker's chocolate to bring this up to around 400, 410, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Give or take a few grams. That's, that's really enough. We are going to put our chocolate into the bowl. One more thing before this goes into the microwave, we're also gonna be adding a knob of butter. So just about this much, that's, I don't know, maybe a tablespoon of butter, almost a tablespoon or a nice tablespoon. So when the fudge is ready, I'm going to set it in this, um, in this tin pan here. So I'm just gonna line it up with wax papers. So I usually go one this way and then I go another one that way. And that's it. You don't have to be too fancy with this. The wax paper is only just there to stop the fudge from sticking to the pan and to make it much easier to take it out later, right? Next step is we are going to be putting this into the microwave. And the way that we're gonna be doing this is I'm gonna put it at 10 second intervals. So put it in the microwave on high heat, press start, 10 seconds, take the bowl out, stir it, put it in, 10 seconds, take it out, stir it, Put it in, 10 seconds, take it out, stir it. Put it in, 10 seconds, take it out, stir it. So to stir it, I'm going to be using a chopstick 
because I find that when you use a chopstick, you don't waste too much of the chocolate and get it on the spoon. So yeah, microwave on maximum power and we're gonna put this, remember, 10 seconds, take it out, stir. So in. All right, so 10 seconds and stir. So you can notice the chocolate is slowly warming up and starting to incorporate. All right, so as you can see, the chocolate is getting nice and smooth now. That baker's chocolate in there is still not totally melted yet, but it's getting there. Keep going slow, 10 second intervals. Okay, I think one more 10 second burst should uh, do the trick. All right, so here we go. So this is the moment where we add our condensed milk now. So I'm just gonna add this in, just the whole pot. With the chopstick again. This is actually all you need to do the fudge. The fudge is pretty much done. But remember, we are gonna take it up a level. What I'm gonna add right now is four drops of the vanilla extract. So that goes in. Salted peanuts. And I like to leave a bit to sprinkle on the top. And I'm gonna add a little bit of the score crunchy caramel bits. So don't go too crazy with this. And that's it, just mix this stuff really, really well. Okay, so last part. I am just gonna use a spatula and transform this into the pan that we had with the wax paper in. If you use a spatula, you'll notice that you can actually, can actually get pretty much most of the chocolate out. Try to spread the chocolate out into all the corners of the pan. And that's it, you just stick it in the fridge. And then I like to give it a good bump. Chapeau. Now, today we are going to cheat a little bit. So instead of putting this in the fridge for about three hours, I'm gonna put it in the freezer for one. Wait, let's do that again. Whenever I wasn't in the mood for cooking and I was going to a party or something like that, I just did, I just made this fudge. I didn't really put a lot of effort into making it. As you can see, it just takes a few 10 seconds stirring in the microwave and that's it. Oh, that's the one from our, my birthday, right? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Steve. It's been an hour and a half almost, so we're gonna check on the fudge. Should be ready. This should be pretty easy to take out. You just hold the wax paper and whoa. Sophia, you will like this. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yes, <laughs> you can have another one. <laughs> If you guys like what we do, please don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, comment down below, share, and we love you for this stuff. Fudge Bob! It's very hard to talk when you eat this. Thank you guys for watching. I've been Zika again for Food as Fuck. This is Simone as usual, and we'll see you guys next time. Chapao!